Hey, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me today. This is Influence. I got the Studio Series Iron Hide 86 movie figure here. Uh, off the back, I think it should be bigger. That's my initial take on it. Transformers reviews, tech and the news, whatever else I use as a muse. Hit subscribe. I appreciate the views, influences, interest on YouTube always looked at Ironhide as a bigger character. I, I'm not sure. I do have Hot Rod and I will uh, compare Hot Rod and a couple of uh, Junkions, you know, just to, just to show a comparison. But I do think he should be a little bigger. He does have some kibble on his legs. It's a pretty good figure though. It's a, it's a nice looking figure and I do wish they would have more paint less hollowness as usual that's the usual complaint but they do have a little less uh, visible hollowness um i like paint instead of plastic but i do understand paint is expensive so that's what it is i think this is all just red plastic and this is painted you can tell so it's like a difference between the two something that i don't really like uh this is painted up here as well i believe which looks nice, but then the arms are just plastic and it gives it, it does give it a two tone breakup kind of, but this is what it is. So let's get on with this review. I'm excited to have a Transformers figure few and far in between these days. Uh, again, I tell y'all all the time, I would like to review more, but I got to buy everything I review. I have my boy, uh, lets me borrow some figures at times when he gets them um he he you know he's getting he's catching up so he's getting figures that i already have most of the time except for newer figures that come out and most of the newer figures i get so in in long story short i don't have that meant much access to transformer figures that i don't want because i have to buy them all right so with that said see his face sculpt it's okay. He looks like uninterested as Ironhide was. I don't know. Something about his face. I guess maybe it's accurate, but I don't know. We can look at accessories. Let's throw him on his backdrop. So he's in, in the... Looks like he's in the arc. As he was. Put him back there and show his... There you go. I don't know if you can see that. Show his guns. Two identical guns. They do have black handles, which I do like better. All silver. The paint's probably going to rub off, so that's probably why. It's probably black plastic and painted silver. Let's have the hollow bits, of course. I wish they would fill that in and make it a solid blaster. They do come in handy on the figure, but, I mean, it is what it is. Get the directions. They were fine. I used them. You get the box. Box is nice. Boxes are always nice for these 86 uh, series. So yeah, this box is pretty great. And nothing more to talk about. You see him on his backdrop. He's one figure that fits on the backdrop. And we can get rid of that as well. To some comparisons so all e6 movie comparisons we got grimlock back here we got hot rod and we got uh one of the junkions keep yard or scrap yard or <laughs> I, I know that's not his name i forget his name uh it's not red guard though i don't know none of the other one's names but you can see here this is why i said i think he should be bigger i think he's bigger than hot rod i'm not sure uh, I know he wasn't bigger than Rodimus, but this is Hot Rod, not Rodimus. And looking at this, the Dinobots are pretty small as well. They probably should be bigger. I know in robot form, they are bigger, but they probably should be bigger in dinosaur mode. I don't know. There's a comparison in case you were wondering. And we can move on to articulation. I'll just put his guns in just because. So his guns also, while we're here, can go in the back here you can have them either which which way doesn't matter 
I say that and then I can't get it in. Uh, maybe ear. There we go. Yeah, this side is is super tight. So you can put it like that. You can have them there or back here. You can have it down here with the same type of peg. And that way he has some storage and you can't really, you can see them, but I think it's just enough to look kind of cool. Again, his proportions, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a nice figure. I like the way it looks, but his proportions sometimes when I look at it is like weird. His face is, I don't know. It just doesn't strike me as... It probably should have been painted because it looks cheap right here. Right here is, is paint and here is just plastic. So it, it looks kind of uh, generic, I guess, is what I'm looking for. But let's get into articulation. You got this arm that goes all the way up there. It can spin around 360 both sides. You got not a double joint, um, single joint. It gets you 90 degrees. His fist is in a permanent. He can go down due to transformation, but if you need it, uh, and this fist can spin around. Got the bicep swivel up here. You have his head goes down about that much, goes up about that much, and he can do the 360. I believe it's on a ball joint, so he can get the side to side if you need it. Waist is on 360 joint. No ab crunch. Hip skirts in the front is all on one. I know that's a negative for a lot of people because when you get the leg up, then you can see everything, all his business. So he can do the hurdles. He can also do the splits with no skirts on the side. So he does the full splits. Got a cut joint right here for the swivel. Also, no, nah, no swivel up there. You just cut joint right here for, for this swivel, which is super loose. Both mushroom pegs are loose. And I know they've been having trouble with that lately. I don't know why, but they are. So just stating fact. You got 90 degrees on the knees. 90 degrees on the knees. The feet can go up pretty much as far as you want them due to transformation. Uh, they go down about pretty far due to transformation. They don't spin around, but they do have the rocker, which is a pretty good rocker. So good artic articulation there. And that's it. And you got the back. Some of my complaints with articulation, just the normal. Uh, no ab crunch, but I mean, it's to be expected. Not too many mainline have ab crunches. Uh, and I don't really need ab crunches on my robots that much. Depends. It depends. It depends on the character to me. You know, what kind of pose I'm trying to get him in. I'm not the best at posing. Uh, the loose knees, or not knees, but the thigh joint. Which, it doesn't even look like it's actually... No, maybe it is. No, it looks like it might be on a pin. I don't know. I can't tell. No, that's the mushroom peg. Mushroom peg is moving. It just feels weird. I thought just this was moving and the mushroom peg was staying uh, the same. But you can see. You can see the sprue marks. You probably can't, but I can. All right, so let's get him into his van mode. So you can pull this out. This is kind of tight. It's in there like weird. So you got to like pull it out. It gets stuck. But pull that out and you flip these windows out here. Out here and flip the head in. Transformation isn't really hard, but I do like it. It's, it's kind of interesting. Then you pull this back like that. You can move this up. Pull this out of here and then 
Make it so you can move this around here like this. Only this moves, not this part. So it's not the main waist swivel. It's really this right here. Then once you get that there, you can kind of see it's kind of intuitive and you can push the bumper up and put it together. Now for the arms, the arms are pretty much where they need to be when they're regular. So you don't have to do much. Just make sure you put this up here. That should be flush both sides. It's on this joint right here. It's like a soft tab that keeps that joint together. Then you can, then there's a tab in here that you can put together like that. Make sure the arms, get the arms right. And then you have the fist. You can move the fist down and they're gonna go basically like this. Then you can fold with these legs. Now these legs, you want to pull this out and up, pull this out and up and just leave it like that for now. You can kind of get the legs together. I guess they may fall apart, but you want to flip this up, flip this up. And this is going to come up like this and basically rest there kind of like this once everything is done now these feet it's on this mechanism right here that goes all the way up once you get it up you want to open up this open up this like i said it's super intuitive you can tell like what parts are on the van so you open up that open up that pull this up and then you kind of bend this down and accordion it up like this and then you can start to see the van forming so you know where you need it to be like that and then you can do this side again make sure this stays up move that like this it goes together at the same time you want to kind of put the back end tabbed in right there and you can tab these two together there we go and you kind of tab this together here and you see the van forming then you can move this around here there's a tab right here that like kind of grabs into the front of this. Now, this is why you don't put this yet, because there's a tab here and this tab is hard and, and it has a potential to break. I can see. So let's tab this side together the way it should be. And now you want to try to get this together. Now you tab this. This goes together, but it doesn't really stay until you put these tabs up in here and like I said it's I don't know if you can see that like I said these two tabs up in here they definitely have potential to break because they're pretty big it's hard to get them in but make sure it's in like that and then you push this up and I definitely it's a hard tab to get in there because it kind of got to get under here or over here Again, this tab is this is the most frustrating part because you know it's not good. It's clear, it's clear plastic for once. And there we go. You like push down on this and push it in, and you can get it, but I, I don't have too much faith in that tab. And here we go with the turtle van. No, with the I think it's a Nissan, the old van. Or was I don't know if this is it this is slightly different looking than iron hide is so you got the windows that are blue translucent it's not bad it looks like just some stuff in there packed in maybe over here is a little more uh, messy and you can see his head through the window but that's not bad either because it just looks like maybe a console separating the seats um, The one thing is this, uh, I guess they wrote on it left side or right side. I believe that's what that's for. I would think, I guess looking at it this way, 
This is the right side, and this is the left side. I don't know. You go though. Got wheels that move. His legs are down like this. I don't think. I think I have it right. I don't think there's a way to get it up. It doesn't impede it, but I just. I don't know. I don't like the way it looks. Can't really see it though. It does hide it well. Then you can take the guns and put them up here if you would like. You want him to be uh, armed up. You can shoot or you can put them back here, which is where I like them. It's kind of gives you an exhaust, little exhaust back there. So you can, you know, you got dual exhaust. It might be a fast van. Let me see if you can, I don't know if you can do it like this to hide it. No, oh, you can. So you can't even make it like this to, to hide the guns. So you can't really see the guns. And I like that as well. Because then you have storage and you can't see the guns. And he doesn't have a weird dual exhaust. So that's good. And he still rolls. Still rolls as well as possible. So now let's go back. What I like to do is not break this. <laughs> Bad choice of words. But I like to get this off of here like that. And then once you do that, it's a piece of cake. You just start. You can move this out. Move this out. Don't bend this down that far. Just bend it out enough and then put it up as you're moving it because it'll get stuck there. So again, over here, you move that out as far as possible. Then you put it up as you're moving it down. It gets stuck. Then you can just move this and I just get this apart. And then you just work on these legs. There's no issue at all. Pull that down. Flip that up, flip this up, and you push that back and your legs like that. Push that down. Get over here on this side. You can flip that up, pull that down, flip this up, and then accordion that back and flip this down. Now you can just put this down and flip this into the back. Again, you can flip, flip that first and then put that down if you want. Now, unhook these arms. You can just put these forward like this. Skirt down. Move this up. Pull this down. Now you can move this where you need to get it in order to spin it. And then get his head out. these windows in push this down then you push this up in here and as you're doing it you can see it goes down and it's kind of hard gotta get it past that then just push this down in the air and it click in make sure the arms are correct like i said you don't have to do too much with the arms going either way you just move this up here and there we go back to robot mode And here we go, the 86 movie Iron High Studio Series. It is a mixed bag for me. Looks the part pretty much. I think he should be bigger. I don't really like his face. However, it does look like Iron Hyde. Uh, he's bulky. Iron Hyde's bulky. I do like that. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. All right, thanks for watching, and I appreciate y'all. Life ain't no, life ain't no, life ain't no, life ain't no. As long as you alive, you can give another try and take it real high if you want.